think there's some discomfort in bringing it up. I think that for, for some advisors, there's the perception that if you are, are asking about charitable planning, that you're implying that your client should be giving to charity or maybe should be giving more to charity, so the client could be uncomfortable. I found, however, that most clients, it, it really is not an uncomfortable conversation to have. It's, very, it's, it's, it's a good conversation to have, and it deepens the relationship with the client, which ultimately helps me become a better advisor. And, and typically, I, I don't necessarily use it in making an introduction into charitable planning, but I'll typically, when, when a client is evaluating different alternatives, you know, what do we go with a private foundation, a supporting organization, a donor advised fund? I'll say, I have a donor advised fund and this is how it works and this is my experience with it. I think the best way to, to bring up the idea of philanthropy if a, if a client has not raised it him or herself is to do it in the context of the broader legacy. Uh, legacy has become a very hot word in uh, estate planning. People are very concerned with, or people are very interested in how they're going to be remembered. They've created wealth, they've amassed wealth, they're passing wealth on down to their children, uh, but they want to be remembered for something more than the dollars. And so the bringing up philanthropy in the context of discussing what a client's vision of their legacy is uh, can be a very non-threatening way to introduce philanthropy into the discussion. Sometimes it is a difficult question to ask a client about charitable giving. Um, I try not to ask it in a way that seems presumptuous. I also try not to ask it in a way that's too open-ended because again too open-ended sometimes it comes off as well I'm not as charitable as a lot of people I know or how charitable did she think I should be? Is she reading something into this situation where you know she's making some kind of a judgment on me? So I never try to lead with hey are you charitably inclined? Um, instead I'll say are there any causes that you're really passionate about that would maybe impact the way that we would invest this money? So that could be from excluding certain industries to supporting green initiatives and that gets the client in a more positive way thinking about things that they want to support and then I can back it into are there ways that we can be incorporating that philosophy into your overall planning and modeling some charitable strategies along with that. Investment advisors that remember this topic of philanthropy and incorporate it in as an essential component may follow the other elements but it's part of that integrated wealth management plan, end up learning a lot more about their client as well. What makes them tick, what inspires them, what's important to them, what sort of legacy they want their life to represent and mean for others after they're gone. And it develops just such a rich experience for all involved. You know, I think one of the issues that many advisors struggle with is it's not their core competency. It's not what they've been trained to do, and I understand that. You know, if you're a lawyer, you have very specific rubrics that you're comfortable in. If you're an accountant, you have certain rubrics that you're comfortable in. And I, and I understand that, but you know, one of the things that really helps all advisors get over the hump is when they become donors themselves. 